Premature rupture of membranes. Premature rupture of membranes. Rupture of the amniotic sac. Membranes are layers of tissue that hold the amniotic fluid surrounding the fetus in the uterus before the 37th week of pregnancy. In most cases, the amniotic sac ruptures during labor or within 24 hours before starting labor, water breaking. The amniotic fluid protects the fetus. Fluid leaking from the vagina. It may leak slowly or copiously. Sometimes when fluid leaks out slowly, women mistake it for urine. Use a pad to absorb some of it, look at it, and smell it. Amniotic fluid is usually colorless, pale yellow, or tinged with blood, odorless or with slightly sweet smell, and thin or watery. Causes or risk factors. Infections of the uterus, cervix, or vagina. Too much stretching of the amniotic sac possibly due to too much fluid or multiple pregnancy. Smoking. History of surgery or biopsies of the cervix. History of pregnancy with a prom or p-prom. Once a prom occurs, a mother will need to be in the hospital until her baby is born. The longer it takes for labor to start, the greater the chance of getting chorioamnionitis. Chorioamnionitis is an infection of the placenta and the amniotic fluid that can cause complications for the mother and her baby. Antibiotics can reduce the risk for chorioamnionitis when a prom occurs. Therefore, a prom occurs after 37 weeks, or even 34 weeks, of pregnancy. If labor is not starting on its own, it can be safer to be induced. In preterm premature rupture of membranes, PPROM, the water breaks before the 37th week of pregnancy. The earlier the water breaks, the more serious it is for the mother and her baby. If a PROM occurs before 34 weeks, if there are no signs of infection, a doctor may try to hold off the Labor by putting the mother on bed rest. Corticosteroids, e.g. betamethasone, dexamethasone, hydrocortisone, methylprednisolone, may be given to help the baby's lungs mature quickly before being born.